Hi all, it's JK here with another video. This is a cleaning video, version two. Now, if you saw my other cleaning video, you saw that to remove tough stains, I was using my rubber gloves. Uh, tough stains such as flies, bird crap, uh, road tar. I was getting in there with my rubber gloves, peeling it away, and I was quite pleased myself because it never looked so good. Um, I was also using my rubber gloves to clean off the brake discs, uh, dust off the, um, sorry, brake pad dust off the wheels. Again, that was a big no-no, you can't do that. Apparently it aggravates it and uh, causes damage to the wheel. Uh, so I've learned quite a lot and um, I'm going to put it in this video and uh, I'll show you where I am and where I should be so that you can perfectly detail your car. Um, Tonight's clean is going to be basically a jet wash because, well, the body is going to be jet wash because, you, you, well, as you can see, it's not bad. It's pretty clean. Uh, no, nothing there that a microfiber mitt won't get rid of. Um, a bit of dust there and pollen. Again, the, the jet wash will take care of most of that and so with a microfiber mitt. So, my, I mean, everybody does their own way. They've got, uh, you can use microfiber mitts, you can use lamb's wool mitts, I believe they think they're called. Uh, you can use microfiber cloths whatever you feel like doing do it just the the gate the 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 ultimate goal is to use as soft a material as possible um if you're serious about keeping the car in showroom condition which i'm sure you are if you're in a golf R, you want to use the softest material you can afford and to be honest you you have got to invest it's it's not going to be cheap i think i've spent 200 quid so far on this and uh i've still got a long way to go um, and I'll tell you what I've got. I've got a microfiber mitt for the body. So I literally just touch the body with a microfiber mitt. Uh, the windows and the lights, I'll use a microfiber cloth, a small one. Uh, for the wheels, if you saw my uh, Gardex video, all this stuff came with the Gardex kit. So if you can get the Gardex thrown in, it's definitely worth, worth it because yes, you can buy it really cheap from Alfred's, but all the stuff's there you need for you know for starting and cleaning your car so I'd, I'd say the my the the Gardex comes with everything you need all you need additionally is a jet wash a my a, a mini jet wash uh, and a clay bar uh, the clay bar is what you use to remove tough stains such as uh, flies bird crap you know whatever if, if you cannot remove the stain with a microfiber cloth or lamb's wool or whatever you're using then you use the clay bar on it uh, that's the gentlest way of removing very stubborn stains and I'm pretty sure it's, correct me if I'm wrong, but from what my research suggests, it's the only way to remove tough stains without damaging your car. Um, so yeah, so that again is for the body, use a microfiber uh, cloth. For the windows, use a, uh, sorry, mitt. And for the windows, you use a microfiber cloth. Uh, for the wheels, use a wheel brush and wheel detergent which came with the Gardex, but, and it works really well. To be honest with you, the Gardex kit has been really good, but as people said on my video, you can get that stuff from Halfords for a lot cheaper than, you, know, you could spend 100 quid on it in Halfords, and uh, VW try and charge 300 quid for Gardex, or 375. I remember, I got it thrown in free, so uh, don't be an idiot and pay for it. Just either they throw it in, or go to Halfords and buy it yourself. Uh, so yeah. Microfiber mitt for the body, microfiber cloth for the windows and lights, uh, and a, a wheel brush with wheel cleaning detergent for the wheels. Uh, and I'll show you what else I've got as well. So this is my version of the two bucket method. Now, I know a lot of you guys are gonna be saying, oh my God, you, you're almost right, but your buckets are too small. Uh, this is true. Uh, if you look at detailing buckets, they're a lot bigger than this. Um, also, they have grit guards, which I haven't bothered with. Uh, the reason being, uh, my Halfords doesn't seem to ever stock any. <laughs> um, and secondly, because I, I have to wear rubber gloves because I've got a very bad skin condition, I, I suffer with, it, with eczema and all sorts of things, uh, I wear rubber gloves. So what I find is, all I do is I dip the clear water bucket, I, I, t I dip the mitt in there or the cloth or whatever, and I'll give it a good wipe off with my rubber gloves. And then uh, I tend to then dip into the soapy water. So if you don't know, the, the two bucket method is you have a bucket of clean water, pure water, nothing in it, and then a bucket of your soapy water, car soapy water. And then obviously the idea is you soap your water, uh, your cloth or mitt, you wash the car, 
you then rinse the mitt or cloth in your clear water you see all the grit come off and then repeat and the idea is to re to reduce the recycle of grit so it doesn't end up back on the car and you end up swirling the paint and then you think oh my god what have i done and then you try and tea cut it all out or whatever it is you try and do and um i mean if i show you my body i've cleaned the car a few times and uh, so far no no scratches i mean it's it's working there are no scratches there's no swirly curly whirly marks that really aren't amusing and um yeah now the clay bar which you saw over here this is new to me um and this really is you know hardcore detailing stuff and they, they aren't cheap i got this used although it's brand new look not open it was obviously a, someone's gift uh Auto Glynn should endorse me for this, to be honest, because uh, or pay me or whatever, because you know it's I'm mostly throwing business their way. <laughs> but um, this cost me 25 quid off eBay. Uh, I think Halford sell it for 30, and it even tells you how to use it. So you wash the vehicle with shampoo, then dry, then break off a small piece of clay, knead, flatten it to the size of a large coin, ensure the vehicle is cool, blah de blah de blah. And all you do is, you, you as as per the picture there. You very gently rub against the, the stain, the fly mark or the bird crap or whatever, and remove it. And that's what, if you remember my previous video, that's what I was using rubber gloves to do because I just had no idea how to do it. I was thinking, well, you know, other than rubber gloves, how the hell am I going to get all these annoying stains off? And I'll be very honest with you, you know, when I had my Type R, and well, I've got my Type R still, but I was a young lad, I didn't give a toss about cleaning it, you know. I never cleaned it, and it still looks good. I'm a lot like Jeremy Clarkson where I'd rather just drive it and you know let someone else clean it but now I've got my Golf R I thought it's time to grow up a bit and put the effort in. So two bucket method, one clear water, one soapy water, make sure it's proper car shampoo as well, don't put detergent in or anything like that. And then your clay detailing bar which is how you get rid of all your stubborn stains. And then there's my mini jet wash, this is brand new, I paid 90 quid for it from uh, Morrison's. Um, it's the cheapest on the market. If you go to anywhere else, it's ninety, it's ninety nine pounds, and I believe it's one hundred and ten pounds in Alfred's. And then I'll uh, is my microfiber cloth. As you can see, it's all dirty at the minute. I've got to go into the kitchen and give it all rinse out. Uh, this sponge here came with my Gardex. I don't really use it. I use it for the under of my Land Cruiser. You know, getting under the arches and getting all the crap under there. I do not use it on the body. So uh, yeah. And there's my microfiber mitt, which came with the Gardex as well. So I basically use these two. That for, like I said, that for the windows and glass and with lights, this for the body. And uh, if we go to my Gardex, somewhere in here, there you go. There's a wheel clean, cleaning brush. And it's metal, it's, it's a cheap, nasty, you know, bear in mind this is like a 350 quid whatever. And they give you a cheap, nasty, and scratch the hell out of your wheels if you're not careful but the alloy wheel cleaner works brilliantly very pleased uh, you don't need much and it does get the job done so yeah that, that's pretty much how i'm cleaning the car nowadays so as per earlier in the video i've just rinsed off the uh the fiber cloth not that you can see but that is really clean now and so is me uh mitt nice and clean and then uh, there's the, the rinse bucket. I've given that a good scrub and a good clean. There are marks in it, but they're stains, so they're nothing to worry about. And then I'm going to clean off my soap bucket. As you can see, there's dirt in there. Give that a good clean, and then I'll fill it with water and soap, and then we'll begin. So there we go. There's my uh, soapy solution ready. Clear there as well. Rubber gloves. And uh, another tip is, ideally, you use warm water. For the soapy water i think you can buy heated jet washes as well mini jet washes so uh which helps with the the, the mixture of uh, the soap and the water and it helps remove grime easier apparently something to do with physics i don't know so yeah let's get started that's the first phase complete uh as you see it's removed a lot of this shit already um yeah it looks pretty good um oh, the 
moth stains come out a lot easier than I thought they would. And all I've done is jet washed it and gone over it once with uh, my mitt and sponge. I did uh, underneath the arches with the sponge and underneath the uh, underneath the sill there with the sponge. Um, and yeah, and this is the result of uh, just using the clear water at that point. So there you go. So what I'll do now is I'll uh, empty that out, clean it again, and then fill it with water, clean water again, and then start using this bucket. Okay, so I've gone over the car now with the mitt, um, which is clean. Next, it's a case of drying the car with my uh, Maguire's magnet, tam water magnet it's called. Uh, it costs like 12 quid or something. But um, as you can see there, the car wasn't that dirty after the pre pre rinse, but I've destroyed my mitt. Up there, there's a hole in the mitt, so that's crappy guard that's mitt. I'd have thought. So, my towel, which I'll show you now, is that. So, it's uh, it's got a little bit of dirt on it, so I'll, I'll be a bit careful and only use the clean parts of the towel. But, uh, yeah, it's a it's a Maguire's uh, water magnet, I think it is. And, um, it's, it's a soft towel, uh, it's got good reviews, and uh. I've been I've used it once and it dries the car quickly. Well, I've used it twice actually. I've managed to dry my Land Cruiser with it as well, without needing to wring it out or anything. So yeah, and then after this, we'll uh, have an inspection of the bonnet and see if we need to use the uh, clay bar. But I don't think we do. I think we it, we managed to get any stubborn stains off by using the reverse side of the mitt, which was this side here. So. That side of the mitt there. So let me know if you think that's the wrong thing to do, that you shouldn't use that side of the mitt. Be interested to know what you think about that. So on with the drying. And the R is now dry. Uh, a few little streaks there, but that's drying, I think. To the point where uh, flies are all over it, drinking water. But uh, yeah. The other way you can dry it is that sounds good is get a leaf blower. One guy was saying use a leaf blower and You'll never get scratches then, because obviously even with that magnet towel, you're going to risk scratching the car because it picks up dirt you've missed. There's just no way around that. So it's getting dark now, but I'm going to try and do a bit of uh, um, clay barring, I think, because there's a couple of stains there that you can't see on the video, actually. There, that, there's one. But anyway, let's have a go with the clay bar, I think. So, unfortunately, I've run out of time. I can't do the clay bar thing. But reading the uh, the box properly, it looks like it's a it's a wax job as well. So you use the clay bar to remove crap off it, and then um, you apply wax as well after it. So maybe it's you don't do it so often. Maybe you just do it twice a year. It'll be worth googling that to see how often people do use them. Uh, I know my friend is a little bit OCD, and he bloody well waxes his car. Uh, three times a year I think he said or four times a year um, when they recommend you do it twice a year so it's up to you but this clay bar stuff looks it looks like a twice a year job to me but I'll give that a bit more research but going back to the two bucket thing so that's the water after cleaning the car in the uh, rinse bucket and the bucket here is pretty clean in fact it, it's I can't really, I'd say it's clean enough to use again, to be honest. I can't feel any, any grit in the bottom. There'll be a little bit of grit, but it looks pretty good to me. So uh, there you go. There's proof that the two bucket method does work. Um, you don't, grit guards are recommended and deep buckets are recommended. But as I say, I've not had problems. But to be fair, my car's still got the wax on it from the dealership. So uh and also, you notice how easy the fly stains came out of my car tonight. That'll be because I keep the car under a cover and the sun doesn't have a chance to bake the flies into the paintwork. I think that's the thing. It's when the fly residue mixes with uh, UV rays, it then bakes into the paintwork and causes damage. So, there we go. That's the conclusion of the video. I think now I'm going to have a shower, get changed and go for a drive. I might do another drive video. And before I do that... This is my car polisher I bought as well. I've got a car polisher there. And then I've got, it's a three step process. It's what my friend recommended. So I've got there, which is a pre-waxing glaze. Then you apply that onto it, which is another pre-wax layer. 
and then you wax the car I think and this is Meguiar's as well and it's I think that's 30 quid's worth of gear there just those two and then this was 15 quid I think reduced from 45 quid so uh, yeah I spent a lot of money on it and uh, you know when you get bollocked by uh, detailers who really do take pride in what they do it, it wakes you up a bit <laughs> so yeah cheers for that <laughs>